Hi, good morning. My name is Amelia. This is Daniela Pesci. And he is Jules Cuyon. And we are here to talk about our project. Uh, the main goal of our project is to create a 3D printed corrective brace for idiopathic scoliosis that is cheap, uh, custom made, and comfortable. Brace treatment for scoliosis is used to prevent the spinal cord progression and to maintain the appearance of the back. Uh, the goal of the brace treatment is to prevent to core, uh, the curve of the, of the spine to uh, actually you know, uh, getting worse. There is some different type of scoliosis. The one that we focus on was on the idiopathic scoliosis, which is one of the most uh, common type of spinal deformation. Scoliosis is commonly defined as greater than 10 degree of uh, lateral deviation of the spine uh, from its central axis. Um, uh, here, I have a picture of a patient with scoliosis. As you can see, the deviation on the spine, it's, uh, it's pretty big. Uh, there are three different uh, classification of idiopathic scoliosis, and the first one is the um, infantile, which is with uh, when the patient is younger than three years old babies. Uh, the second one is juvenile, which is with patients that are from three to ten years old. And the last one is from patients uh, that is old, that are older than ten years old. The measurements of success that we had for this project is that it was going to be, it's, it's easily customizable and that has dimensions that can be changed based uh, on the patient to be the effect, to be effective the most can be worn in a normal life without interference on daily activities and can be worn for long periods of time without being uncomfortable or having a skin irritation it's also not ugly because we can um, add designs to it uh, for the child um, the brace applies corrective forces on the spine to release the load on the concave part of the curve and increase the load on the convex um, portion of the curve. The bones that are being compressed will grow less and the bones that have um, less compression or no compression at all will, will grow more. Uh, most research on using braces for scoliosis um, have focused on the idiopathic scoliosis type, as Emilia said, because it's the most common. And in general, the research shows that braces can be effective for preventing curve uh, from getting worse. Although bracing will not straighten um, an existing curve, it, if, it, op, it often prevents from getting it worse to, require, to the point of requiring surgery. Um, in a recent study of scoliosis uh, of patients with curve at a high risk of um, worsening, bracing actually um, decreased the incidence of the curve that progressed to, um, until they needed uh, surgery. The more the child uh, wears a brace, the better it is. Um, the best results occur when the braces start at early ages. The spinal curve is uh, the curve is moderate and not severe. The brace uh, is well fitted, which is which, which was one of our main goals. Um, the child wears the brace for the prescribed period of time, and it uh, they get family support. Here are some images on how the children will actually look with the brace, and they seem happy. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here's an image of our current model for the brace. As you can see, there is an indent to help with the spine straightening, and this little arm right here is to help for the posture of the patient, because if they're not standing straight, it won't help as much. Here are a couple other angles of the same model. This is from the back. And those are the straps that will make it adjustable. Yes. And this is the front. Of a couple of our goals for future work is to possibly do a real life testing because these models are all based on theory and research. We weren't actually able to find somebody with scoliosis to <coughs> attempt to make a brace for, but it is a goal for future research. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Bye.